Hello everyone, welcome back to Life Steps channel. So today uh, we would be doing a video on uh, you know packaged drinking uh, juices versus the original juice that we used to have by squeezing and you know taking out the juice at the time when you wanted to have it. So uh, I just wanted to you know come up and you know with an idea that is it actually beneficial to have uh, you know tetra pack juices or pack juices in place of fruits or you know juices that are actually squeezed it at the time of uh, you wanted to have it right so if you see here i have taken two uh, real fruits that is masala guava and masala mixed fruit so you know if i go with the uh, nutrition if you see here it says that you know it has energy 46 kilocalories protein carbohydrates is 11.50 out of which natural fruit sugar have 1.80 grams and added sugar is 9.70 gram i can you know i guess you guys can see it's actually you know 9.7 grams is huge for our body to take in right even if i go down the ingredients it says the water guava pulp is 20% sugar salt acidity regulators stabilizer antioxidants spikes and other thing chili pepper and all those stuff they have added to make it masala flavor right and there is one uh, kind of a note that says this contains 20% fruit juice content so guys i mean whenever you see uh, you know there are uh, there are juices that have uh, you know zero percent sugar and all those so that they identify but are they really beneficial for a body that's the main agenda here so to be very honest uh, when a person is you know thinking about losing weight or thinking about going into a diet and you know uh, giving time to his body uh, so he a person think that it's better you know to have these uh, tetra pack juices uh, just you know to get a start on the diet basis right but do we i'm like we think that these packet juices can be you know can prove beneficial for a body and you know because if we wanted to have real juice we need to squeeze it and have to consume it within two or three hours otherwise the taste of the juice become a little sour or something right but when we talk about packet juice, we think that we can store for, I'm like, you know, we can store them for about a year without opening them. But do you actually, you know, do you know what exactly is the process that goes behind, uh, you know, behind in making these, uh, uh, you know, packaged drinking water ready drink? They, because the original heat treatment that is involved in this process, actually lose all its vitamins right the vitamins get lost when this heat treatments and involved in preparing these process uh, you know it's um, like you know also if you go with the uh, i would say if we if we go with the uh, uh, you know these stuffs that says that you know you can take up packet juice just for a good diet or everything it's actually i would say it's actually very low as compared to having real juices real squeeze juices there's a perfect saying drink your vegetable eat your fruits right so it's better to eat your fruits rather than going for batteries drinking water so i mean the major horror in having these real fruit juices is because so whenever you are buying a fruit make sure that if the juice level says no preservatives so that means that you know it, the oxygen is removed from there i mean uh, there is a process called deoxygen. Removing oxygen actually, you know, you know, deteriorate the quality. To be honest, so it actually deteriorate the quality because uh, the vitamins and all those stuffs are removed out. Preserved juices are actually, you know, we have preserved juice. They are good to taste because you know they are added sugar into it. They add added sugar and you know they use artificial flavors just to make them taste good. So, but they are you know they causes a little bit more diabetes and if i am on a diet or if person is going on healthy diet or something he need to you know make sure that he's not taking all these stuff 
just take vegetables just take fresh juices cut them or squeeze them up and just take them right and also if you go with packet juices they are high in calories right most of all it's about i mean like i mean like there's also a saying that if uh if you have a juice that says that added constant just don't go for it just don't have this uh, packet juice that says corn syrup right uh, i mean like if you uh, you know because of the fast moving uh, Uh, you know technologies and uh, the life that we are currently living on we actually think that uh, you know we don't have time so we actually buy all these uh, juices just to make sure that we cut time and everything but uh, you know the fiber content the vitamins are actually zero it says that they have some vitamins and all those things but to be very honest they have none vitamin fiber content is not there because you need fiber your body needs fiber right so I mean, there's. I'm mean, like, if you go with fresh juices, and if you go with packet juices, I have told you the difference why. And even fresh juice, I'm mean, like, fresh juices are not healthy in comparison to fresh fruits. As I've already said, drink your vegetable, eat your fruits, right? So, I mean, for example, when you take out a glass of juice at home, uh, you take around three or four fresh fruits just to you know squeeze the juice out of those fruits, right? So it actually, like you know. it actually what it does is like it's you add or remove more calorie from out of it and fiber doesn't fiber gets removed out of that because the pulp has the fiber most of the fiber you get it from the pulp right so when you are actually squeezing the fruits you are not taking the fiber with it right so it is said just eat your fruits rather than you know squeezing out the juice and to make juice for of it uh if i go with an apple juice you say that you know an apple uh, a glass of apple juice has actually 120 calories right if you get uh, like it takes around 3 or 4 apples i believe so or uh, yeah i get so i'm like a one and a half or one two apples i would say and uh, roughly uh, one apple raw apple can contain around 70 to 78 calories right now you can make the calculation and do the math how how which can be beneficial for us as i already said pulp has all the you know the pulp is actually uh, having the fibers and more of nutrition in that so honestly the packet juice contains simple carbs you know and it actually can raise your blood glucose level immediately right so this is one of the horror that taking packet juice can you know harm our body it is also said that the most spoiled fruits are brought to the industry to make packet juice i mean like they are not fresh fruits so the fruits that are actually not fresh and that are spoiled that are bring to the that are gone like, like that are brought to the industries to make them packet juices i mean they uh, preservatives are added uh, extra ingredients are added just to make them taste good right uh, juices are actually you know if i go with the last thing i can do is uh, having masala guava i mean like masala guava flavor masala mixed fruit actually they taste right good when you take them but the reality is just have a fruit because we don't we are actually wanting to have a good body we are wanted to have all the nutritions the uh, vitamins and everything so it says i mean you know it's better to have fruits rather than going to have packet juices just eat your fruit so that if i'm like if a person is working on and a person is on a diet i would say just drink your vegetable make a soup out of it make juice out of a your few vegetables and just eat your uh, eat your fruits because the fruits pulp has most of the fibers the nutrition they have and the you know the vitamins the, like all those stuff you can get from the fruits so i just you know this is actually one of my first real video that i'm actually doing right now so i know it would have been uh, a little bit messy because i didn't got all the fundas and all those stuffs that i wanted to provide in this video so anyways i tried my best so i if you like this video just do subscribe to my channels and i would be coming up with another video with good uh, good uh, i would say good contents and everything so a, a little start uh, i would say a start uh, would be a good start i would say 
but thank you for um, you know listening to me and understanding the reason why real packaged foods are not as good as you know the foods that we have okay guys thank you so much please subscribe to my channel and like the video and click the bell icon thank you so much bye bye